before speaking we're going to start off with a little music Thank you for the applause and uh, what makes this piece of music mean anything to anybody at all i mean there are no lyrics to it most people uh, respond to music in different ways like some people tap their feet some people remember a uh, past lover some people uh, think about the rain some people recognize the song and they want to sing along some people go like yeah this is my song this is my jam people start dancing the most common thing in all of this is that the music gets to us it reaches us and especially in what i just played there are no words so you can't say that the lyrics mean something but the sound does and that taps into a very important thing which is the most basic and instinctive part of communication music speaks to us like we speak to a little child when a child is a few months old we speak to a child in a way in complete sentences expecting that the child understands but yet the child does not know the grammar or the meanings of the words yet we speak to the children but how the child understands is that just by the two most important things that music is all about tone and pitch what is tone tone is uh, say the kind of sound like we all know the difference between a male voice and a female voice we know the difference between a drum sound or a guitar sound we do right we all do is something that we don't need to learn so a child knows just by the tone and pitch of a mother's voice or a father's voice that you know that's somewhere you can't go or the mother is being sweet and the child also recognizes the tone of the mother's wife a uh, voice voice or the father's voice uh that's what music is all about and my um, endeavor today is to try and make you all understand how the language of music which is academic in nature there are rules there are sentences that you make there are words that you speak uh gets communicated to all of us but we do not need to learn this language but me as a musician i will have to learn this language to be able to tell you something well, let's get to it for example since there are a lot of college students here there's this thing about this creature called college students is that they roam around in packs there are very few uh, single ones around there are always little groups where college students are is that right is that is that right everyone has a group in college and everyone has a group because they like to speak to each other and they have similar interests well music is similar when you're trying to make a song or even the most basic thing when you're trying to make something called a chord we'll speak to uh, we'll speak about what a chord is but before that say we have a person 
in a group who has one thing to say, one opinion, and you're talking about, say, a film. So one person says, it's one pretty straight opinion, right? And then there's another person who has the same exact opinion, but is very, very, very enthusiastic about it. So that person's going to be like, right? But they're saying the same thing. And there's this other person who has a slightly different opinion, but agrees with what the first person has to say. And that person would say something probably like this. Now, if they are in agreement, they should sound all right together. Is that right? They should sound all right together. So let's see if the two notes that we picked sound all right together. That sound about right? So say there is another person who has another opinion, which is a little different from the first two, but still agrees with the group. And say, that person's voice says this. All right? So let's see if these three come together and three opinions or three notes form in music what we call a simple chord. And I guess this sounds like a chord to everyone. Are we all good? That's a chord. So this is a group of people who are talking about the same thing. Now say someone comes along and has a slightly different opinion about what they were talking about. Like the person agrees with the final point, but is not really quite there. So that person's voice is going to stick out something like this. See, he's not quite there, but if he tries a little harder, he's going to get there. Right? Are we getting somewhere with this? All right, now say, for example, the person who has a little disagreeing voice wants to be very, very strong about it. It's like, I want to agree with you, but I'm, I'm not quite sure about this. And so the person with the question is hitting on the question a little harder. Say, and he's constantly emphasizing, constantly emphasizing on his question. That becomes expression in music because music is just not straight although this is very easily recognizable by everybody but music is just not this there's a lot of so that person there is sticking out but yet is in a little bit of an agreement with the group now say there is this other group that this group does not talk to. And they're talking about something else, uh, say politics. Everyone likes talking about politics. So yeah, so this group is talking about politics, but their, their topics and their discussions are completely different from these people. So probably their conversation sounds something like, which is vastly different from what we were listening to. And they do not go well together, right? They don't. Or say, for example, if it was, if they happen to be in the same place and uh, one of the people from the group who was talking politics comes and talks to uh, the group that was talking about a film about something that is in the film about politics. So they agree on something. Something or the other, they agree on. So, well, that kind of makes a common point between these two groups and they can have a conversation together. One group that's talking about films and another group that's talking about say politics and we can all we can all see that these two chords go all right together. They can go well together. Just like that we don't need to have one single person for every opinion in a group. As a musician what you learn to do is take different notes, which we can call as different opinions, and a person himself or herself can have different opinions. So a person himself can have one, two, three opinions, and can be in agreement with, each, with, with himself, and can have a different opinion about, say, another topic, or say, another topic, or another topic. And 
if we put it all together finding a common point we can understand how a song is made well um the most important thing about making a song is the concept of harmony we all know what harmony is right peace and harmony everybody's heard about it harmony is when you agree with each other so whatever you are doing in music when you're making a song you need to agree with each other so if i were to take a bunch of people talking and if they were all talking about the same thing and they all came to a common conclusion that we we all believe in this one point and we all have different opinions about it we can actually come to a point where everyone is in harmony and at the same time everyone is building something together is building a discussion so a song is no different from a discussion for example if i were to take four different topics with four different groups i could probably build a song right here in front of you guys let's see the first thing that we spoke about films politics love everyone wants to talk about love and say studies everybody wants to finish studies and want to get back to say talking about films and that's the nature of the chords we select chords as to what we want to say and that relates a certain emotion that may not be the same as what the maker intended but then it still resonates with the audience in with the listener in a way that is not in control of the maker which is the beauty of music is because i might want to say something with my music but it may mean something completely different to you but the most important thing is that it does mean something to you so with the four things that we spoke about let's make a little song <laughs> music on top of this so for example if i play back what i just played all right so say i was standing on top of a hill and these four groups were talking about four different things and i picked out certain things that i liked in all of their conversations i would probably come up with an opinion which is a summary of all of these people's conversations have some fun and do it with the little drums so we can all have a good time Thank you so much.